Starfleet Intelligence has completed its initial analysis of the data you found in Amar Singh's laboratory. Preliminary results show that Singh wanted to use a combination of Klingon, Augment, and Gorn DNA to create his master race, but that his initial results were less than encouraging. What troubles Starfleet Intelligence are references in Singh's notes to past events. Since Singh has said his employer was interested in time travel, do you think he and Bavat could have been planning on manipulating the timeline for their own ends? We want you to meet with the USS Kirk. It has thwarted several Klingon attacks on medical facilities in the past few weeks. They may have another piece of the puzzle. The Kirk is on a routine patrol in the Hiromi sector within the Beta Quad.
This is Captain Thielen of the USS Kirk. We are under attack. We have been boarded and need immediate assistance. could use the help. We were ambushed. We were en route for a scientific survey when multiple Klingon marauders decloaked and started blasting. The shields held up less than a minute, and once they went down, we were overrun by Klingon boarding parties. We've been fighting deck to deck ever since. to see we could use the help i think we'll be fine once we clear out the last of the klingon borders our first priority will be repairs to the shields and weapons my chief engineer informs me it won't take much to get them operational we took the worst hits to our engines chief says he'll need at least a day to repair the warp drive Glad to see you. We could use the help. You saw it. Those blasted Klingons kidnapped my security chief. He must have kept one ship cloaked for the extraction. Lieutenant Paris's ties to the Klingons have always been troubled. Half of them thinks he's a traitor. 
the other half thinks she's a saint. And now, this bunch thinks she is the cure to some crazy virus. My Klingon is rusty, but I think I heard one of them say that they were taking Merol to the right place at the right time. At least that's what I think I heard. I don't know what they meant by that, but we can't leave her in the hands of the Klingons. She's a good officer and a good friend. the help. Since we're stranded here, you're the only ship who can chase down the Klingons and rescue Lieutenant Paris. I'm transmitting the frequency of her comm badge to your ship. This will enable you to lock onto her and follow the ship that kidnapped her. Bring Lieutenant Paris home safe. This mission cannot be delayed by a miserable Starfleet Tobot like yourself. We will find the secrets hidden in the Kuvamak's blood and use them for the glory of the Klingon Empire. I give to my escorts the honor of destroying you. Pray they send you to Rathor quickly.
know all. I am my own beginning, my own ending. I was here before your sun burned hot, and I will be here long after. The one known as Myra Paris finds her future in the time before her time. She is the Kuva Ma. Her people follow her footsteps before she has made them. Her presence in her past alters the river of time. Those who took the Kuvak Ma are conquering before the warriors arrive. They have brought the weapons of your world to a time that will be helpless to resist them. Your reality, your world, your beginning, all that you know is gone. Bring the future to the past or lose the present. You will need your vessel to face the challenges ahead. Step through my portal and it will be returned to you. I know all. And seekers in search of a question. Shapers creating a dream. Explorers who believed a universe was too small. I understanding makes possible. Her presence in her past alters the river of time. Those bring the future to the past. Bring the future. Am I to understand Bavat entered the Guardian portal with Lieutenant Paris? That is very disconcerting news. I am contacting Starfleet Intelligence to see what our next move should be. For now, take no further action with the Guardian. That is an order. I've spoken with Starfleet Intelligence. Listen carefully. You are to use the Guardian portal to follow Bavat wherever or whenever he went. Find him, and stop him from altering the past. Stop the Klingons, save Moral Paris, and restore the timeline. Unknown ship, this is the USS Enterprise. Please respond. This is Commander Spock of the USS Enterprise. Thank you for your assistance.
Yup, I am not your enemy. Ask me what you will. I know you are not of this time. You are from... Levyak, I am not your... I know you are not of this time. You are from the... Levyak, I am not... I know you are... Levyak, I am not your... Edit. I know you are not of this time. You are from the future. Mevyak, I am not your enemy. She is the Kuva Mark. We walk in her footsteps before she has made them. Her destiny is to be the one who cures the Klingon people. She will wash away the stain of the Augment virus that has smoothed our brows and put fear into our hearts. Yes, and we are beginning to see results. The Kuva Mach has a unique genetic sequence that has allowed my physicians to completely transform us back to the mighty warriors we once were. No more will we be Ridgeless and honorless. We will be Klingon! We will follow in the Kuva Mach's footsteps and walk in the path of honor and glory! Mevyap, I am not your. Some call her a savior. Many among my crew see her as a traitor. It is strange to see a mythological being wearing the uniform of your enemy. I don't know what I believe of the old ways. The prophecies say she will be a voyager, and that the Klingons will know her before she knows the world. What I have seen in these past days makes me believe this is true. Mevyap, I am not your enemy. Ask me what you will. Most of them are crazed by their contact with the augmentation process. Their leader tells me they were experimented on by a man named Amar Singh. They will do anything kill anyone in their quest to be whole again. They arrived here a month ago. They brought the Kuva Mach with them, and they asked me to keep her safe. They left for a time and then returned two days ago with this wonder of a starship. They told me that it was the first of a mighty fleet that would rule the galaxy. Their leader. It is my greatest shame to see him. I have come face to face with my future self, and I see that I will walk a path of great dishonor. Mevyap, I am not your enemy. Ask me what you will. Ambassador Bavat is the man I will become. Time travel is such a tricky thing. Now I understand why Klingon intelligence hates predestination paradoxes so. Ambassador Bavat will not surrender the Kuva Mach without a fight. It appears that the years have made him, made me, quick to anger and quick to judge. I wonder what will happen to make me such a bitter, manipulative man. Mevyak, I am not your enemy. Ask me what you will. When one travels back in time, one may cause or undo the reason for the journey. Anything we do now may alter the reality that you know. Then again, the reality we know could not exist unless we were here at this time and place. I would advise you not to volunteer for many more time travel missions. They tend to complicate your life. Mevyap, I am not your enemy. You are the defenders of the Kuva Mark. You will find Ambassador Bavat at her side. He will not surrender her without a fight. Give him a good death. That is all any Klingon desires. Mevyap!
I didn't appreciate being held captive. But if I can help the Klingons, I will gladly do so. Think of it this way. If we can find peace here, there's hope for the future. No, but the Klingons of this time have the genetic samples they need from me, and I am more than ready to get back to our time. Thank you. I won't forget what you did today. One to beam up. lovely ship of yours are staying here. We'll have a grand time dissecting both of them. Surrender now, and we'll give you a quick death.
I am not unfamiliar with time travel, Captain. We will endeavor to engage the Klingons until you can escape. Time has resumed its shape. All is as it was before. Farewell. Congratulations on a job well done. Lieutenant Paris will return to duty. You have ended the threat to the Federation. But we do have some questions. Time travel is not a routine mission, you know. Don't be surprised if you get a visit from the Department of Temporal Investigations. Predestination paradoxes can be troubling for them. I don't think I need to tell you how important the mission you just completed was. For all of us. The very fabric of our universe was at stake, and you acted with professionalism and aplomb. Thanks to you and your crew, Ambassador Bavat's plan was foiled. Temporal Investigations does want to talk to you about how the description of your ship is now showing up in the USS Enterprise's mission logs. But I told them you didn't have time to report for debriefing.
we've detected an anomaly in the Azure Net. Because of the Tholian activity in that area, we're concerned that they may be attempting to open a rift to the mirror universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Do you need anything else? My name? is Franklin Drake. I was born on a little colony world on the edge of Cardassian space. After the Federation fell to the Klingons, a lot of people the moved out of the war zones to try to make new lives. It worked for a while. When the Bajorans discovered that wormhole and the Dominion invaded, no world, no matter how remote, was safe. I signed on to help fight the Dominion for all the good that did. The Dominion swallowed the Bajorans whole and then joined up with the Breen and the Cardassians to destroy the Klingons and the Romulans. After that, it was just a matter of carving up the Alpha Quadrant. The Tholians got this piece of space in exchange for signing a non-aggression pact with the Dominion. It wasn't hard to see that the only way to survive was to sign on. Now I'm like you. I work for the Tholians and in exchange for getting caught in a couple replicated meals and the chance to live for one more day. The little luck I'll get through tomorrow, too. Do you need anything else?
swarming on me to the Tholians. <sighs> but if I don't answer, you'll probably tell them I'm hiding something. Fine. My name is Deton. I was born on Romulus. After the war, I signed on to a freighter crew working the Bolian line. My captain got in trouble with the Tholians, and I ended up here. I'm a true and loyal servant of the Tholians, and I don't want any trouble. I have work to do. Don't bother me. just asking to be polite, aren't you? I find idle chatter so tedious these days. Still, it's a way to pass the time. My name is Rugen Skyle. I used to be a member of the Cardassian government until I had a conflict with a rival faction. Politics on my world can be quite cutthroat. Now I'm here. It's better than execution, but only just. The food here is terrible, and the company <laughs> is worse. Another question? Yes. My name is Tanae, and for many years I served in Starfleet. After the war was lost, I joined a resistance movement attempting to liberate the core worlds. We failed. We were able to keep the Klingons at bay, but not the Dominion and their allies. After the Breen destroyed Earth and the Dominion occupied Beta Z, continued resistance was illogical. Against all reason, we continued our fight as our resistance cells fell, one by one. You might say I was one of the fortunate ones. I survived. I would not agree. Do you require any... How can I assist you? I'm Valkel Sean, captain of the Belfast. I run freight for the Tholian. Basic supplies, mostly. But once in a while, they need me to pick up dilithium from the mines on Remus. We're in dock here for a few days, getting some repairs done. Got too close to the Konos blast zone on my last trip back, and ran into some raiders. They won't trouble anyone again. But they fused half my power conduits and fried the deflector before I managed to take them out. If there's anything else you need, let me know. I will be free. My name is Obasek. Once my people served the Romulans, now we have new masters. I will serve for now, because to refuse would be my death. But when the time is right, we'll rise up against our oppressors and destroy them. If you would be free, watch for an opportunity. The thought do not waste my time. Right in here, why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Go away.
this place isn't what it's supposed to be. My name is Neelan. I'm an Alorian. Some people would call me a wanderer. I go from place to place, listening to the universe, to the people. And then I look at you and this place, and I can't explain it, but it's wrong. All of it. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Something's not right here. I can't see it clearly. I just know that something is wrong. That woman over there, does she have a daughter? Someone named Sila. I know that's important, but there are a lot of other things. I'm sorry, it's difficult to put into words. What I can tell you is that if someone asks for your help, give it. That will set things right. Something's not right here. What do you want? My name is Bavat. Before the Tholians conquered the Empire, I was the leader of a great house. I sat on the High Council and spoke for the Empire on more than a dozen worlds. None of that matters now. The past is nothing to a slave. I will die here in service to the Tholians, just like you will. Ask your questions! You looking for something? I'm Farrick. Wheeling and Din is my game. At least it was, until the Webheads put a stop to any trade that doesn't benefit them. Still, I know how to get a few things. You looking for bonus replicator rations? Maybe a bottle of authentic pre-war Romulan ale. If you've got something to trade, I've got to need. seen you around here before, Captain. Got a minute to talk? Call me Castillo. Not a lot to tell, I guess. I'm Lieutenant J.G. Richard Castillo, helm officer of the USS Enterprise C, an unwilling time traveler. I'm normally the helm officer, but... I'm senior officer now that Captain Garrett and the rest of the senior staff are gone. We've got to do what the captain would want. Get us back to where we belong. And finish what we set out to do. I know this is hard to accept, but we're not supposed to be here. I know. I asked around about you. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but... I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. 
We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through, and because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. The Federation was losing badly. We tried to go back to set things right. Then the Klingons found us in the Enterprise D. There's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. help. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. What I learned though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back to the Enterprise C. I know this is a lot to accept, but you have to trust us. My name is Tasha Yar. I know this is a lot to accept. We need your... help. I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. When the Enterprise-C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline, one in which I was alive but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again and you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here, and as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go my but we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. That's the idea, at least. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the impulse. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier.
question. Take it. Here's a map, too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but... There's something about Yar and Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference. It makes me want to believe. Do you need anything else? talked about a man who stepped outside to battle a storm. Kalos went to this man and asked him why he didn't seek shelter. And the man replied that he would stand before the wind and make it respect him. Kalos honored his choice and went inside. The man died. The wind does not respect a fool, and neither do the Tholians. I will not commit suicide, so you can make a pointless attempt at escape. You looking for something? Do I look like a soldier? Take on those Thorian goons. Not even if you pay me all the gold for plan is foolhardy. If you want to die, do it without my assistance. Have we met? And what do I get for risking my life for you? Nothing, that's what. Not even a drop of canard. Find someone else to do your bidding, Captain. I don't take orders from anyone. How can I assist you? I don't remember the Federation, or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the only life I know. One of servitude, deprivation, loss. That freedom my parents and grandparents told me about. I want the Federation back. I'll help. Just tell me what you need.
very precise. They want to learn everything they can about the ships they're capturing. All rooms connected to the hangars have their atmospheres exchanged to prevent damage to the systems they're dismantling for study. Also, sometimes they force humanoids to do the work for them, so they'll pump in something we can handle.
All major systems are still operational. Good. I am here to assist. My first posting in Starfleet was to an Ambassador-class vessel. I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months working on a refit of the ship's computer. I am confident I can restore the ship's power levels quickly. Also, I do have some experience with Tholian technology from my time in the Resistance. If you prefer, I could attempt to deactivate the web shield or tractor beams. I am here to assist. What do you require? We don't have much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also fairly confident that with enough time, I can release the docking clamps holding the ship, or take down the Tholian's web shielding. We don't have much time. We need to work to... I was the helm officer in the Enterprise before everything went to hell. But I'm really handy with heavy machinery, like those clamps holding the ship. I know I could take care of those and get us free. If you need me to do something else, maybe I could work on that web shield. It will need to come down before we can fly out of here. Or the ship's power. I know every inch of the old girl. If I could figure out the Tholian interface, I might be able to connect to the ship and restore the power remotely. We need to work together. Priming clamp hydraulics. I'll need to override the security lockout. There. Releasing docking clamps now.
about this last time. stabilized. Head for the Anomaly Enterprise. It will put you back where you need to be. That's my job. The details aren't important. Restoring the timeline is. Get moving. The Tholians are already starting to regroup. I'm sure you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise C, and compromise that timeline as well. We'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. There wasn't anything there. 